Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, and I am back for more Final Fantasy XIII. And in today's episode we are searching for lightning. I'm just going to save my game a second because I forgot to do it after the last episode because I'm a complete and utter pillock. <clears throat> Luckily I'm recording these episodes back to back so I didn't have to worry about reloading or anything. Well, redoing anything, I mean. As you can see, using a little bit of sabotage does slow down the stagger bar degradation a little bit, making it just a little bit easier to uh, stagger these little bleeders. We are going to be, yeah, there they are. I was going to say we're going to be introduced to some new enemies now as well. These guys can be a bit of a pain, especially if we come up against the other version of them, which is the Succubus. Those ones will use a move called the Cord Ship Dance, so Cord Ship Dance, which will sabotage our characters with deep attack, deep shell, things like that. <clears throat> That's one down. Up since he's picking on, since he's picking on Sarge, and if Sarge goes down, it's over. Regardless of whether the other two die or not, he's the only one that can't be uh, Phoenix down in the ring. Warship from Pulse. You mean they made it this far? No, of course not. Not during the war, and not since. They might have tried, but none of their forces made it into Cocoon. They only damaged the outer rim. Then the Sanctum's foul sea pushed them back. What'd you uh sleep through history? <laughs> More or less. So what's a ship from Pulse doing here? Once the war was over, people couldn't live near the rim anymore in places like the Hanging Edge. So the Foul Sea, they gathered up scrap from Pulse and used it for rebuilding here. This is what was left, a bunch of garbage. Who'd have thunk? A Pulse Foul Sea and who knows what mixed in with all the trash. Who'd have thunk? Stop wandering off and stay where I can keep my eye on you. Oh, got him being jumped. Let's dispatch these Time quickly. to pull the old switcheroo!
Did you see that coming? Oh, that was so. Did you see that coming? I could power myself up as well, but I don't think I can need to at this point. I think the damage we're doing is sufficient. Push on. very shortly. Got a save point just up here as well as a, another chest. Grab that. Okay, so the one in the back, the succubus, that's the one we want to take out first because he'll use his dance and he will sabotage us if we're not fast enough. There we go, we managed to stop him. Thank goodness.
Go ahead and wipe this thing out and be done with it. Got a zero rating for that, and bless because I took so long bringing him down. But sometimes it is better to be safe than sorry, if I'm honest. back. There she is. Hey, welcome to the party. You miss us? Huh. Would it kill her to smile? Time to move. Okay. All right. Well, before we do anything, we should probably... Just quickly sort out our CP. The TV's trying to turn itself off for a little bit. getting there slowly I know I just dodged a few battles but I was trying to get to lightning a bit quicker plus the pulse work soldiers don't really give off that much and so I kind of feel like they're not worth fighting these feather brains might be a bit more worthy of our attention though Much better. Having lightning in the party really does make the difference. That's for darn certain. Nothing to it. Doing good. Oh, double sucker bucks. Cast that one. It had to be the party leader, didn't it? The one that we don't want any hassle on. Luckily, this fella decided to focus on lightning instead, so we're good.
doing good so far. Oh, another two of these bird bones. No succubus this time though, so we're free to just attack in any order that we please. take out because we want the chest and they're kind of in the way so yes go ahead and drop them I look too far to pay for it. Job done. Getting quite quick now at killing some of this stuff. So definitely uh, leveled well. And the ember ring we just got, that is uh, fire damage defense. So, we've now got ourselves a bit of a boss fight to deal with, and this one's a little bit of a tough one. What is that? Pulse armament. And that's bad for us, isn't it? You have eyes, don't you? First of all, let's buff ourselves up and let's sabotage him. Currently using steam cleaners, which it uses to remove uh, nasty sabotage effects, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and just reapply that sabotage. So it'll really help. And we're gonna have to fight this guy twice as well, by the way. Oh, let's just clean ourselves up. We are going to have to be aware of his wrecking ball ability as well during the second phase of the fight. Let's 
go. Oh, we got rid of this new attack. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Here comes the wrecking ball. I guess he's not quite done with us yet. You all right? I think so. Incoming. All right. First things first. Let's lay on the sabotage. Now we're going to go to diversity because we want to get our health up as high as possible. Because we will use a move called the Wrecking Ball and it is going to do some hefty damage. So we do need to be ready for it. Here it comes. Wow, you missed. That was handy. So I need actually have to get a big clean here. Still wasn't enough though. There we go. Nice, 360 crystalline points. And we've now got the medic roll for lightning and Sarge has now got his commando roll. Beautiful. Pulse is crawling with things like that, isn't it? Got me. Got me. Not even, Not even the core has access to intel on Pulse. Soldiers in the field, Soldiers in the field fight blind. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed that. But don't you need to know exactly what you're up against? Target's a target. You like to keep it simple, don't you? I stick to my goal. As long as you have a goal, you can fight. You can stay alive. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Dang, we're needing 300 a time to do this last little bit of the grid right now. That is insane. Oh, okay. Well, if that's the case, then I really hope the game starts giving us some better CP because. We're not going to get very far with that amount of CP that we have been getting.
Well, let's bring everybody up to where they should be now, so on to the next piece of the grids. It's just finding a way to get a large amount of uh, CP, as it were. Oops. Well, this isn't too bad. So I think it's medic. Either way, we're going to need to start pulling in some larger amounts of CP, I think. Okay, let's forge ahead and see where we end up next. We have actually got our second summoning fight coming up soon, and that will be against Odin. But we're going to need to prepare adequately for it. Folks, I think this would be a good place to stop because I think we've got a load of cutscenes coming up and we are at 27 minutes on the recording so let's be sensible about this and leave it at that so thank you very much for watching if you've liked what you've seen then smash that like button be subscribed to the channel and I'll see you all next time for more Final Fantasy 13 take care folks